Hi, my name is Horizon Bowles. I'm going to be talking about the problem with causeless eviction. People tend to often overlook those who are evicted or in search of a place to stay, especially in California where poverty and housing is a crisis. Eviction is nothing short of problematic and the current status quo is that homeowners and landlords alike tend to evict without a given cause. By creating new laws and contacting agencies to counteract these evictions, homelessness and poverty would then lower as a result. The purpose for bringing up the importance of evictions is its effect on society and how it directly contributes to the homelessness crisis and because of the immoral practices it has on families in impoverished neighborhoods in America. To understand the situation further, one must follow the circumstances in which landlords take to evict their tenants. Not only do evictions prevent permanent housing, but evictions with no cause allows different problems off of baseless claims. The landlord could simply hold a grudge against you and you are thereby evicted with only 28 days notice. In the book Evicted by Matthew Desmond, it is stated that evictions at one point were very scarce and un uncommon. But throughout the 20th and 21st century, evictions have skyrocketed as common as people losing jobs. Throughout the book, each landlord tends to evict one or two people with very little holding back the notice. This allows problems to rise and create much unwanted conflict in the book, especially during the first chapter. Throughout the first chapter, enforcers tend to embrace communication towards the landlords but discourages those towards contacting those towards contacting the city. The problem at hand is that eviction needs a definitive reason for said eviction. Without a definite reason and just a baseless claim, there could be hundreds, if not thousands, homeless. Furthermore, understanding the problem only raises more questions about how to properly create and enforce a solution and how it may affect the tenants and landlords. A proper solution to the evictions without cause would be to get into contact with a public authority or public agency. And by contacting them, you could stop the eviction altogether. The consensus of the landlord would be that the causeless eviction has nothing to do with the problem with the problems of homelessness or the legislative issues between the tenants and landlords despite the complete opposite being seen in society. It is the complete opposite from the authority towards the minority. The only means to create the solution is to enforce it. Only by visualizing and doing something proper, doing proper research, we can embrace the culture without heavy eviction rates. What this may allow involves a proper expectation to be involved with the eviction notices by simply providing a reason or extended day of 60 days instead of 28 days. This allows the tenants enough time to fall back and move into another apartment while providing the tenant to understand the circumstances for said eviction. Their lives without this solution can be detrimental to their living as a means of leaving and finding a new apartment with only 28 days is a cause for concern and may spike the rate of homelessness. By not implementing the extended notice, people will likely fall into a slum of poverty and living on the streets. Currently, we are in a state of where homelessness and poverty is discouraged and there are even laws criminalizing homelessness, such as Texas's new anti-homeless law, which affects 42.4% of the Texan population. By contacting your state representative and voicing your concerns about the senseless eviction, it can be enacted into your local laws and can be ruled in favor of the tenants by extending the notice dates and possibly making the causes next necessary for evictions. Calling the number 
3121, most people can reach the House members and committee, which allows them to find their state representative, making it simple for them to raise concern about the homeowner's laws and making it possible for tenants to demand causes for eviction. Eviction in and of itself directly contributes to homelessness and enforces malpractice among landlords alike, causing a generalization of landlords to be considered bad in most, if not every situation. The creation of new laws and contacting the authorities allows the tenant to enact more enforcement against evictions without cause. By having the current status, have the homeowners allow landlords to evict without a reason to evict, it allows for such action to persist. By allowing people to embrace the power of authority, the political commentary would shift in favor of the tenant in the sense that the final say doesn't necessarily have to be eviction, but rather a warning or extended notice date before enforcing the final say eviction. This is my work cited. And my first source is, is the book Evicted and was published in 2017. My second source is a, is a website published from 2015 of November 5th. This is my work cited part two. My third source is How to Stop Eviction by endeviction.com and was published in January of 2013. The State of Homelessness by endhomelessness.org, which was published in 2021 of February 9th. And my fifth source is Thompson, How to Tell if You Have an Eviction Record which was published in November 13th of 2020. Thank you and good night.